waiting for snow. Kids and grown ups alike. I don't want to be riding my bike this time tomorrow. It's here. Are you excited? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, catch it. It's snowing. It's snowing, Buck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? I love snow. We need to try to maybe get a couple things picked up out in the yard before we get buried. Good morning, happy peoples! I hope you're having a great day. It's snowing right now. In big chunks. So me and Evelyn decide to run in the snow. It is so much fun. <laughs> it's also so cold right now. <laughs> in the comments down below, if you guys love playing with snow, or if you get snow in your area. Bye! What's left to wait for here? My eyes are asleep. I miss you. Good morning, happy people. Hope your day is going awesome and wonderful. I am still in Kodiak, but uh, I'm supposed to be leaving here in about six hours or so. And I've got a little bit of work still to finish up before I can do that. But I thought I'd show you guys around just a little bit of Kodiak. I wish I could show you bears and maybe we'll see some bears today, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to go looking for them too hard because, guys, the, if you've seen like a two or 300 pound you know, black bear, uh, they can be pretty scary but bears here like i was telling you before are the largest in the world and they are pushing 1500 pounds for a bear a little bit nerve-wracking i was talking to some locals and saying okay so like if there's bears uh like is there an area that bears want to just uh, go to that maybe i could go video and they're like oh no the bears just come into town whenever they want to come into town and they'll find trash and they'll eat it and there's not much you can really do about it and when you're 1,500 pounds, I could, I could understand that. It's a quick tour, it's a beautiful town. I ate a Seward recently, it's very similar to a Seward feel, but with a lot more commercial fishing. And then you get these beautiful houses that are just like tucked up on the hillside. It's, it, it's crazy that you can see the ocean and mountains all in the same area. Beautiful here. Uh, let me go finish work real quick and I'll give you guys a tour. And then we will head back to North Pole. This big black cloud is coming down Starring angels all around A warm breeze from the subway underground The snow is falling heavy into the town Walking backwards in the snow I'm sitting here with Hans, and Hans, you have lived here in Kodiak for how many years? Uh, just going on 10 years. 10 years, okay, so I gotta throw some questions at your way. For sure. 10 years, what do you like most about living here? What I love most about living here is, uh, if you look just on the edge of the you know, screen, you can walk just basically a half mile from here, and you could be in uh, what we can consider the back country. Or back country, okay. In, in wild kind of landscape. So, you know, you can, you can venture off into basically Alaska, you know, wild country um, so easily from Kodiak. It's uh, one of the very cool places about, or cool things about living here. Now, when you're going to the back country though, because we're in Kodiak. Yes. Largest bears in the world. What, they get up to 1,500 pounds, I'm told, in some instances, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pushing that, <laughs> pushing that. Pushing that. Do you ever even see bears that, I mean, do they ever come into the city? 
Oh, for sure. Yeah, they come to the city. You say this like this is a normal thing, like Leah, last week bears just kind of rolled down the street. I've seen bears right here in this street. Oh my God, like we're literally walking right here. Just walking down the street. Um, <laughs> particularly when, um, you know, fishing fish runs are over, berries aren't accessible in the, uh, in the hillside. They're looking for food. They're looking to get all the weight on for going into hibernation. And so, uh, you know, they'll come into town and they're gonna, you know, raid trash cans and they're gonna find people's, you know, waste or uh, bird feeders or dog food. You know, so. they're not even afraid of people at all, from what I'm hearing, huh? They well, are willing to come in. That's uh, that's a little scary. They're not. I mean, I wouldn't say they're not afraid. Um, you know, it's not like they're just walking around in broad daylight. But they will come in and to town, and and they will uh, find um, food resources that people leave behind. Mm -hmm. So here at the Wildlife Refuge, we try to educate people about how to be very responsible, particularly this time of year in fall, uh -huh. where you just, you gotta collect all your bird feed, all your dog food, yeah. all your trash, just don't, just don't have it accessible to them. Motivation okay. of, of the wildlife refuge here is to educate people about how to uh, not be an attractant to uh, Kodiak bears. Uh, how cold does it get here? So like, we're in North Pole, so we can get 50 or even 60 below zero. What's the coldest that you've ever seen here in Kodiak? I would say the coldest I've seen here um, was like minus 15. Okay. Um, but that was a long time ago. Uh-huh. Um, a climate, typical winter. Climate has changed significantly since I've been here. Winter uh, average would be, you know, we're seeing low temperatures in the, you know, zero degree range. Right around zero is, is cold. That's, That's crazy. Cold. But it's a lot humid, obviously, because we're right here on the ocean. Which, and which I've, makes I've lived in Fairbanks. That's where I went to grad school. Oh, okay. And um, a f minus 20 degree day in Fairbanks is so much more pleasant than a zero degree day in Kodiak. Because of how dry it is. Yeah, it's dry uh, and it's not windy. And here it's windy and wet. Interesting. Let's get a little negative here. So what's the worst thing about living here from your perspective? What would you change if you could? So I've been to every state in uh, the United States except for Nebraska. And that's because I'm a road uh, trip uh, fanatic. Love most about uh, time off is uh, jumping in my vehicle with my camping gear and going for a drive to somewhere I've never been before. A little hard to do that here on this well, island. You, can, <laughs> you can't do it here uh, and, unless the ferry system is operational. And I right see. now, our ferry system is being underfunded and it's not being um, as useful to us in remote island communities like Kodiak. Gotcha. Pandemic has affected a lot of things. So it that would has. probably... And, and how have you seen as far as tourism and, and people visiting here? Does it seem like it's less this year? Oh, About the for same? Sure. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. yeah. Um, our visitor center has been closed the entire summer visitation we don't have any cruise ships this year at all visitation certainly very very low what i found really enlightening is that people are still coming for hunting people are still coming for fishing and that's what the wildlife refuge is here to protect and i'm i feel really great about that i don't feel great that people can't use our visitor center or you know learn about the uh, educational opportunities here in kodiak i can say is that um People are still coming for what the wildlife refuge is designated for, is access to hunting, fishing, and, and wildlife viewing um, experiences. Question for you, uh, industry here. How do people make a living? What do people do for work here? Uh, well, you can see behind me, um, all of the infrastructure, mostly of what you see behind me, is uh, a cannery and part of the fishing industry here in Cody. Okay. Brown buildings are the, um, Apartments that house the They're employees. There. Okay. So and are those typical seasonal or is this are they there throughout the winter? They can be both. Oh, uh, they okay. Can, they can be um, kind of a permanent employee or they can be um, You know somebody that's just coming here for a very quick fishery really runs the You know the economy of Kodiak is fishing. Hans, I sure appreciate your time, man yeah, Thank you sure. so much and I shake your hand, but it's a weird time in the world. So yeah, there well, we go we do, air high five You know. Oh, there we go. The, that's what we do in hockey. Uh, we, we, have to, we can't <laughs> shake hands anymore in hockey, so we have to do the elbow. Do the elbow. All right. Yeah. Thanks so much, buddy. Appreciate your yeah. time.
wrapped up with work for the day um, and I'm gonna get some stuff together here and head to the airport maybe we'll go check out and look for some bears you never know we could luck out but let's go ahead and send you guys back to oh speed bump <clears throat> you never know so let me go and send you guys back to uh, the family in North Pole and check on them and see how they're doing Okay, so yes, you have the right idea, son. We need to get the holy guac. Okay, well, that was distracted easy. So, despite my diligent efforts of getting stuff ready for winter, why can I never finish it? Oh my gosh, Becky, there's still like stuff out here that is not put away where it's put. It's in the trailer. And my husband is not here for our traditional first snow kiss. We always kiss on the first snow, and he's not even here. He is in Kodiak, where there's beaches. <laughs> like Alaskan beaches, not real beaches, not like sunbathing beaches. And I'm here, frigid, babe, frigid. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good. Not ready. I am not ready. Guys, come get your bikes. Got left. Okay, so fun fact, don't touch metal when it's really cold out. Right now it's not super cold, but still get in the habit of don't touch metal. Don't do it. It's not a wise thing. You'll stick to it if it's super cold. And then you rip off your flesh. It's not, a, it's not is that too graphic? Not, not very good, but look, we are almost done all of the wood. We've only got a few pieces left. That is encouraging. What are you guys doing? I obviously failed in the sense of uh, not getting everything put away in time for the EL snow. Now, will this snow stick? You don't know. You never know if it will actually stick. Uh, we could start getting warmer or we could just be like, well, it's just gonna continue to start getting colder and colder and colder. Just still, you know, continue to get colder, colder, and colder, and we'll just keep accumulating more and more snow. But how exciting. I mean, it's something that we kind of dread and we're like, don't look forward to it really. The kids have been looking forward to it, but it just makes life a little bit harder, a little bit more inconvenient, a little bit, you're just cold. You don't get to go out and enjoy the outside. Grab your bikes. Oh yeah. Can okay. you guys each grab your little bikes and go tuck them? I'll say bye to your bikes. Time for them to hibernate. But it is still pretty nonetheless. It makes everything beautiful because everything right now is brown and dead and gross. And the white, oh man, it gets pretty. Um, There's not really space here. Yeah, I guess that's good. Last ride, last ride of the season. Soak it in, love, soak it in. That is what's going on here in our neck of the woods. I'm sure you guys will sound off down below of all your nice weather <laughs> where you guys are at. I'm not salty about it. I'm not bitter about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. If you're for a reason, I love where I live, but we go on vacay. We go, I think we're gonna go on vacation in January. So you guys should put this away. I'm gonna get this all squared away. Let's check in on my babe, seeing how he's doing in the old Kodiak, Alaska. How you doing, babe? All right, headed home. Uh, good time. This is a definitely a neat place to visit if you ever do get the chance. You could argue that this is the most dangerous place in Alaska to live. Um, I didn't really feel that just being here. I mean, the locals tend to uh, tend to just coexist with bears. I didn't see any bears, but they're like, yeah, there's bears, and you know, they hang out the trash, and if you leave them alone, they leave you alone. But, uh, I still, I still did not have enough courage to go out in the woods and go you know, mill about because I didn't have the appropriate protection with me. It's interesting for me because you could have a place like this that could technically be the, uh, you know, most dangerous place to live in Alaska as far as wildlife is concerned. But I think I actually would feel more comfortable here than maybe in a larger city where they could have, you know, high crime rates and such. This is definitely a pleasant experience coming here. And I'm curious to know your thoughts. Have you ever been to Kodiak? Uh, what was your overall experience and did you get to see a bear? We did not get to see a bear this trip, but curious to know. Uh, let's go ahead and get on a plane and head home because I miss uh, my family. the break.
break of dawn Empty hotel room Just had to get up, get dressed, get out Get behind the wheel again I gotta see your face, I miss you Miss you, I miss you Oh, okay. Easy. Oh, there she is. Okay, careful, careful. Oh, you lost your tooth, bud. Did you miss me? I think you missed me. 